civilizations where our direct people came out of. This civilization is 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 called in Arabic Nakada or Nakada, and it's another pre-dynastic city, uh, and it's actually not far from the ancient city of Napata. Nakada in Arabic terms as critics or judges. The Meruneta. Uh, the Medunetic Harafat, Harafat is a Nuwapic word for letters. The Medunetic Harafat translation is, is NBW or NWB, which creates a noob kind of sound. Once again, applying the same interchangeable up, family, sequence so of the vowels, keep noob, NWB, becomes noob, woo, so the family can or commonly follow known this as noob, or noob, wah, poo. Thumb up the video, culture, family. Let's go. Our culture, and our, which is our culture, our spiritual way of life. So noob, wah, poo, or noob, woo, poo is our cultural way of life where also is termed as the name of us so to so say the word Nuwapian in our language would be Nuwapu or Nuwapu when you add the U at the end it makes a plural it adds like a plural almost like Hebrew where Hebrew is I'm which is why I am uh, also dealing with uh, English English may add an S to, to make something all right so this is the part we want to we want to focus on him trying to take the the uh, the, the glyph saying new new boo or, or nibu is the root word to new to new wapu new all that stuff that's not true any of the of anybody who's been around long enough would would tell you that you're always said nawabu which it was it's really was nawapu he changed it to nawabu and said it came from the arabic words we got videos that we did our on this already exposing that that york said nawapu or Nawabu came from Arabic and it had nothing to do with gold. All you have to do is just go get the old books or you can, I'm gonna I'm put up another video after this showing you we documented this and how they lied. So what we're about to do though, we're gonna show y'all where they actually got it from though, because this is out of one of the uh, recent books that they put out uh, earlier this year. So watch, I'm gonna show you where they really got this from. All right, let's go to here. And as you can see, we're on uh, a Nukes page, and this is dated September the 11th, 2016. Can you see that, uh, Ken? Yes, sir. All right, let me make sure it's, it's pretty visible on the screen for everybody else. Just give me one moment. I just want to make sure. I don't want to. All right, hold yes, on. Yes, sir. All right, let me make sure. I want to make sure it can be seen real good. All right. So go ahead, Ken. Take it away. This 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 is your uh, creation. All right. So what we doing right here is a post that I did in uh, September 11, 2016. But the thing to understand is that this was a discussion even prior to that. Maybe about a, a year even prior to that, we've had the discussion. But um, after expounding and doing a little bit more research, um. I was able to come up with these findings. So I'm going to just read the post so you guys can hear it. A lot of controversial information has been coming up about where the word Nuku, Nuwapu, Nuku, and Noon comes from. Because you have different variations and spellings of uh, the word Nuku. All right. Now, well, here's the proof. I did a post on this before, but I'll do it again. The word Nuku can be found in various forms in ancient Egypt, but it was really under the form of gold. Gold is the color of the sun god and the go and the god sun ray. Gold represented the sunshine. Sunshine and noon sciences eat the energy reason. If you look below in the pictures, you will see that Nupu is under the word Nubu, which is the plural word for gold. If you look at the excerpt in the Nature of Nature books, Noon tells you that Nupu is singular in name but plural in purpose, as in the case of the word golds. In ancient times, also, we we know that P and B were interchangeable, also vowels. But in the case of noon, O's are considered revolutionary because those are the favorite shapes of almighty nature, as in the case of most orbs, most cells, and other forms of nature. So now, in closing, the word Nupu or Nuwapu comes from the word Nubu, which means goals in ancient Egypt in plural form. Only the sun god Ray can represent goals and bring Nupu or Nuwapu or Noon forth. Let it be remembered always and let it be known. So this is where 
Prince York decided that, hey, we need to go into uh, ancient Egypt and 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 and, and prove that Nawapu comes from, you know, from from these uh, steles that show um Nuapu or, or or Nupu in the uh, ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. Before that, you wouldn't find any Nawapians talking about it. As a matter of fact, I should have pulled up that picture where they were showing that Nupu was um was the three staffs that looked like sevens. Um, it was like three upside down um hockey sticks. So when um I'm, I'm gonna have to pull that up because that's an important picture to show because remember before they showed that nupu was those uh three um staffs but we know that that's not true oh take it over for a second ken i'm gonna have to find that picture because that I, that didn't come to my mind until after the fact give me a second all right, hold on. All right hold on. i think i, I think i made a video, video where they was uh let me see this dude real quick. Um, to break down how they look at it. Hold on. I'll go to the page real quick. I don't feel like looking at all of the other places. Yeah, it was in one of their plagiarized books. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but I'm finna find this other thing so the audience can see what I'm talking about. Give me one second. going on out there though people all right here here we go now this is all for malachi disciple page and it said what are the origins of the word nawapo now he's gonna read from one of york's books now y'all watch and listen to yourself that it has nothing to do with ancient egypt or gold or even a people now watch what he, how york break it down out of the book just just showing and proving that we don't have to lie to y'all about what's nothing what's up youtube right back all right so we're dealing with this origins of the word nawapo right now there's individuals that are saying this on the glyphs. There's, there's individuals saying this word is made up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I would like to see it on the glyphs, and I'm going to show how everything on the planet is made up. All right, that's just irrelevant. Okay, but anyways, the question is: Ask the Sunni Orthodox Muslims what language did the word Nuwabu come from? The answer: Nuwabu is an ancient Nubian word which is right knowledge, right wisdom, and right understanding. Finite and infinite to know. And there's a lot of definitions that come out of that as well, which is another story. But according to Lane's Arabic English lexicon, the Ashuric Syriac Arabic root word noob means of color. And All right, so that's the first thing. Even though he started off as an ancient Nubian word, he never ever produced that. Okay, number one. Number two, he said it means right knowledge and it's infinite. They never proved that either. So now he's he's asking a group of people who have no knowledge of, of of ancient Egypt and all of that, and he goes right to Arabic. Okay, so we're going into that because remember they just saying that Nawabu Nawabu comes from the 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 the, the, the glyph Nibu for or uh, for gold. So you're gonna listen and watch how it has it don't have nothing to do with that. This is an old book in the nineties that York put out before, way before he got locked up. Now listen. Into brown or black. The word Nuwabu is from the Ashuric Syriac Arabic root word Nub again. You heard that? It comes from the Arabic. First he said it was an ancient Nubian word. So how can it be ancient Nubian? Then it comes from the Arabic, which came way much later. You mm -hmm. see the confusion? I just want to just make sure we, we get that premise down. I'm going to run it back. Means of color and planning to brown or black. The word Nuwabu is from the Ashuric Syriac Arabic root word move again. And he's saying it's brown or black. That's right. Has not nothing to do with gold. <laughs> that gold is not brown and black. You over here. Okay. To the lexicon. And the first line in red, as you see, it says the Hebrew lexicon is brown. That's what I just read to you. Now understand this, when you're dealing with linguistics, you have to deal with root words, prefixes and suffixes, because this is how words are formed. All right, all words are formed. All words are usually two words. This is why they have more than one meaning. Okay, so you have to deal with that. 
So now you see the lexicon. And also, there's a lot of modern day languages as words are added every day to these languages that don't go as far back as some of the holy texts or scriptures from some of these other books. So this is why we deal a lot of times with biblical texts, Quranic texts, Sumerian texts, etc., Egyptian texts, whatever. All right, because it dates back further than your modern day language. Let me know when you're ready. So let's go ahead. I got to charge up my old phone. All right. As you can see here, Nuwabu, reading from right to left, Nuwabu, or Nuwabu, okay? There's three symbols there defining each word because this is three words, okay? The root of the word Nuwabu is a derivative of Ashuric Syriac Arabic word Nub. The, another derivative of Nub is Nubu or Nubawu, which means prophethood or prophecy. Nubua can also be found in Aramaic Hebrew as Nebua, a prediction or a teaching. From the root word Nub again, to sprout, to germinate. Nubon, which is cuneiform, means before the light, present of news, presenter of news, excuse me, can be found in the Quran, chapter 3, 7, 9, 6, 8, 9, 29, 27, etc. Always using uh, religious references. That's it. Again, to the Quran, y'all see nothing about no gold. You talking about yeah, prophecy? Mm -hmm. He said, what it mean? Prophethood, prophecy. Uh, before the light, the present of news to sprout, to germinate, has nothing to do with gold. Now follow me. I'm going to bring you over here. First, I want you to see this. Okay. The Nabawa meaning. This book here is the Comparative Dictionary of Giz, Classical Ethiopic, Giz English. Okay, so this is translations. I bring you down here to the word Nabawa. One second. Right there. And it means to split. And the reason why it means to split is because someone else gave these words their definitions, their translations, these definitions. So when you're dealing with the symbolism, the symbolism goes back even further than the translation. Okay? Because the translation, there are many different translations of different people that came in and as invaders or even um, as allies. Okay, this means this word Nabawa means to make poor, to reduce to poverty, impoverish, reduce to nothing, be reduced to poverty, okay, poor, needy, destitute, deficient. And these are the areas of Ethiopia today. This land is slandered, uh, slain for these reasons. You know, trying to keep people away from these areas because these are the golden children. These are the Anus. All right. The closest to the original blood. So if you see that word that they give the definition to there. And it means just all of that. Okay, but let's go back to here. Foolishness. Again, we have to give that word a new Pull meaning. Pull up that symbol, man. Because we are the the original Anus. My phone ain't charge up yet. Me, I, I think it's in the um and this is just, the again, media, this is the WhatsApp. I'm looking because for because again, when you're dealing with the symbolism, it goes further back than the um the actual translation. Now, an anagram is a word or phrase I got or it right here. formed by rearranging the letters of a number, such as Jeez. cinema, formed from Iceman. So the word cinema is formed from Iceman. A lot of people don't know that. So this happens all the times. Like I explained, when a tribe or a nation would come and conquer another nation and they would adopt um, other symbols from a previous language, they would just switch a few around, invert a few. Uh, Notice he's getting totally away from what the word <laughs> Nawabu is supposed to mean. Now he's talking about Iceman, anagrams, this is what the coach mentality is straight <laughs> foolishness and buck dancing. He don't even know. He he killed himself when he started talking about in the beginning. Some say it's on the glyph. He need to see proof. He don't even know. So hmm. what happens is these cult members, they end up trying to fill in the void 
because York didn't know what it was. Okay, this is what happens. If 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 York was writing exact and he put it in the book, what is Nawapu? He put out like two or three different versions of this book in the 90s, the answer should have been there. So why are you talking about anagrams? See, this is what we trying to say. They don't they don't like it, but this is what it's about. When you're talking about standing in front of your own race of people who done lost all knowledge of self over a period of time, and then you run out of here, this is how ignorant you sound, and then we have to point that out. So this is just part of the proof. We finna show y'all how they done, they changing what the word, all this stuff mean. Let me get it to, uh, did you get it yet, Ken? No, did, you said you found it. Yeah, I thought I sent it to you, hold on. Damn it, I done got out of my, um, hold on, let me go back into the, uh, the media. Cause I just ran up on it. Just give me one second, I just ran up on it. I'm about to send it to the uh to the, the Gmail so they can see it properly. Because they done changed the meaning many, many times, and that's what we trying to tell them. Like when you're dealing with this type of critiquing, and that's another problem too, with these so-called debates and things, you know, they don't people don't go back and critique these folks. And some people do, I've seen other videos, but I think on a bigger level. Like when Sarnetta would do that, they should have just as much hype behind people who actually can come back after it, who'd had a, t a chance to study everything and get them a, a get them a voice and and and, sh and highlight the foolishness. And we done spoke out to Sarnetta a couple of times about just opening up the gates for these individuals just to come up here and not only are they incorrect, they trying to make a pedophile appear to be the all knowing. Think about that. For anybody who accept that there's uh, some type of intelligence in the universe, why would they send a pedophile with the knowledge of all things? That makes no sense. None of that makes no sense. Just give me one moment. I'm trying to make sure I, I share this all the way to the, to the Gmail. Hold on. So I can so I can share that to the people. I'm gonna send it to you too. So yeah. the good thing I keep a, a whole bunch of this stuff. I'm gonna send it's two things I want them to look at so they can understand that this thing is way deeper than what we telling y'all as far as on the plagiarism. It's actually the information that y'all supposed to have. But they stepping in and they just corrupting it all. I'm gonna let this play out and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the the uh the two pictures in the Gmail for y'all can see the foolishness. Just to give it a new name, a new look and a new meaning. So that's nothing new, all right? That is that is nothing new, and people need to understand that. It's okay. Nabawa is also a place in Western Australia. <laughs> Australia. Australia needs to split. <laughs> this is foolishness. We probably be talking about Egypt. Well, this is Zupu. But they had one with Nupu, too. I got that. I got it, and I'm going to show you. I got they both of them. On these tribes. Oh. They talk about extraterrestrial beings coming down and visiting Earth. I'm going to get into that on other videos. This is just simply for the linguistics part of things. But anyways, Nabawa is a small town in the Midwestern um, region of Western Australia and located in the Shire of Chantman Valley. Mm. Okay? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. So if there's a response to this, if I can get this on the glyphs, if someone can show me this on the glyphs, that'd be good. So he's admitting, even though he put this video out May 30th, 2017. So he's telling you, as a Nawapia now, y'all need to understand this. You know, even though we have our, diff our differences, you know, Malachi does try to put some work in and figure out things. So he's up to date saying he need to know where is this at in the glyphs? And this is an old book of York's. And now we got Prince York who just did his uh, debate. Now all of a sudden, Nawapu is dealing with a group of people in gold. They never had it. We finished, but see, Anu is where they stole it from. See, that that's what we trying to tell y'all. 
it's a war between right and wrong and unfortunately those who are on the side of deception have a bigger head start and a bigger voice because of the time and cycle however we coming up though see they the rabbit we the turtle so we we able to take our time and see everything and then come forth and bring out the proof and all y'all can do is just look at it and laugh and then go hit them up so this this nawapi in here is telling you he don't he need to see proof of us in the glyph so we are a new did that already so watch this if not then i don't know what people are talking about uh, this guy afro unu presents some information from him that explains this word nuwabu if possible you know outside of that i don't know which direction people are going see and that he's being honest but he don't want to say he don't know what direction he's going you need to put yourself in there too bro, bro. you don't know where you're going so this is what our job is right here so we just wanted y'all to understand that he has no idea what is going on with the word nawapu and afro unu did uh provide the information which we finna go into so let me go over here into this uh into the uh the, the email real quick like Australia. <laughs> yeah, this, this how sick and 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 ignorant the whole thing is. It's a sad situation. Mm -hmm. It's sad that they have to do this. Hold on, let me go. Let me get to it. Uh, photos. Here we go. All right, this the first one. Can y'all see it? Can you see it, Ken? Hold on. Let me. Let me. Yeah, I see it on my end. I don't know if it's on YouTube yet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. uh huh. All right, go ahead, do your thing. I, I just put it up there so you can do your thing, and then I'll come back. All right. You so as we can see right here, um, as we can see right here, this is what they call Luku prior to um what they calling it now. You understand? Um, if you read, it says nine nine nine. Uh, three times nine is 27 two plus seven is a nine cycle or circle or the three circles now all of a sudden they're using the three uh the three o's and they, they plagiarized this uh this number from um the the, the 1000 from the uh the nature book from the nine ball yeah in the nine ball it said that the um the africans could could reach um nine 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 as far as mentality is concerned and then as as we move forward i'm not as we move forward sorry the only one that can achieve the full 1000 would be almighty nature because it knows everything so this is this is this is a part of the foolishness that's uh taking place with these uh nawabians every year they keep shifting from place to place because guess what they don't know what it means York didn't know what it mean. Hold on, they saying they only can see you talking. I wonder why the the screen. Hold on, let me share this again. Hold on, y'all. Appreciate it, uh, Quipu. Hold on, let me do this again. Yeah, now I see you. All right, give me a second to screen share this again. Hold on. They had one though that said Nuku, man. That that. Okay, this all on. All right, good. Is it showing now? Yeah, showing now. But now, now my phone and charge back up. Now I'm gonna look for that that thing that said Nuku. And I'm gonna show them. I want y'all to see that. Now you see the 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 one thousand. We're talking about the three O's, and it is talk about the uh the three and one in inseparable, which is one thousand. I'm gonna show y'all. Where they where they stole that from in the nature book? So give me one moment, because mm -hmm. this is what we do, this is what we talking about. Nothing about the wiping is incredible, because when you stealing and plagiarizing, and how you can you say you love black people and you stealing from black authors and repackaging and putting it out like York is the all knowing, and that's that's a sad and it's disrespectful, because York been doing it. This is nothing new. We just want y'all to understand that that it's about right and wrong. Stop getting caught up in your feelings because y'all upset upset about we constantly going at them. But y'all, how you gonna give them a pass but want to hold everybody else accountable? I don't I don't get that. Let me see. I think it's in book one of the nature of nature. Uh, 
Let me see if I can pull this up real quick. Just give me this. Give me a moment. One thousand, because I think that's what's that number. One thousand. Let's see. I don't see it in book one. Let me see what book two is. Okay, book two. All right. <clears throat> All right. Can y'all see that? No, it, it I don't, it's not showing. All right. Give me a second. All right. So I want y'all to be clear now that this is, uh, remember it says the three O's for the three sons, Marzak, Razak, and Ritzk. That's just a corruption of the Arabic. How can you have an alien planet in the language that they speaking is from down on earth? Don't make no sense either. All right, it said the zero. This is what they saying. Let me make sure I, uh, I'm going to share it one more time. Give me a second. I got to find my screen. All right. I'm going to share this. I'm going to share this one more time before I go to the nature book so y'all can see this for clarity purposes. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. Thank you to the people that's tuned in. We appreciate it. Okay, y'all see it now? <clears throat> can you see it? Yeah, it can be seen. Okay, just, just for clarity purpose, I'm going to go through this one more time. All right, it says 86 or the three O's for the three sons, right? Then it goes zero equals time, face of a clock. That's just pure stupid. Zero equals space, absent, or form or shape. Zero equals material or other planet. The three and one and separate, which is 1,000, okay? It says, look at, pay attention to number 88. The orb or ball is the perfect and favorite form of the supreme source or omniverse pop 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 all expanding all right now i'm finna share this to the nature books so y'all can see that let me know when you see it yeah it's throwing it now y'all can still see it Well, nah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Okay, now, this coming from the Nature of Nature, book two, page 19, number 22, right? Listen what it says. The orbs of nature. You just read the word orb in a book. This book here was put out in the 90s. They just dropped that book about a year ago or so. Listen to reason. The perfect number of the one supreme being is 1,000. That is to say 999 plus 1 for unity, which is 1,000 for nature. Or you could say the first zero is for space, the second zero is for matter, and the third zero is for time. The three are one and inseparable, which is 1,000. The perfect orb or ball is the perfect and favorite form of the one supreme being, and the ball's outline, profile, or silhouette is a perfect circle if the form of the ball is perfect. Of course, an orb is a ball or circle like the sun, earth, the moon, or solar system. So. This just showing y'all that y'all have a group. Go ahead. You want to say something? No, no. I'm just saying it's plagiarism. Right. This is this is blatant plagiarism. We just want y'all to equal stand that equal stand that y'all have a great y'all have a, a a group of followers and worshippers of pedophile and a plagiarizer who are actually going around not in just America. They all in Africa and Liberia spreading this lie, and they mixing falsehood with the facts and putting your face on it. So this is what we're trying to tell Sarnet and them over and over that you can't be a news channel and you don't check sources. How you gonna be in, involved with, especially with liberation, even with the news, they ain't, they not about liberation, but they go through great lengths to make sure they don't put nothing on the TV that's gonna make them look stupid. We talking about those news outlets that do stories that make sure it don't fall back on them. So this is the part that I problem I have with Sarnetta is because 
it's okay to let people come there, but you should make sure you vet these people. And if you let them go, to have somebody come behind them and say, okay, X, Y, and Z. But so what happens is, it's doing more damage than, than good because we have to go through great lengths just to put this information out. So y'all need to understand that not only is Prince a plagiar, he's a he's a son of a plagiarizer and a liar. Don't forget he's a child beater. He still got to go to court. We keeping up with that too. He go back um next month. So we just want y'all to understand that. Stop allowing these fools to just say anything to y'all, and 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 y'all don't question them. It's not just it's not on the the deceivers in front of y'all now. It's all on the listeners. You can't sit here with all the intelligence that y'all have. Even if you don't know what Nawapu is or Noon Science, we're putting everything together so you can look at it and make the proper choice. These people are sick and they are, this is what a cult is. In the negative, when you going under the power of somebody who's in a worse position than you and you accepting that they know all things, yet the knowledge that they're giving you is coming straight from the stuff that you got contact to. All right, let me go to the next thing so we can show y'all the other problem. Can you still see? Yeah, I see. All right, see if I can. Make this bigger. Well, can y'all see that? No, it's still on the 1,000. Okay, give me, give me one moment there. Screen share one more time. Give me a second. Still trying to find that that screenshot. All right, here we go. So if you can see, you see the word Zupu, which that's nowhere near in the information. Anybody who knows about the nature of nature, Afro Uno introduced the term Nupu and Zupu, and it's spelled, Nupu is N-O-O-P-O-O-H. And then you have Zupu spelled in, in the nature of nature information, Z-O-O-P-O-O-H. And again, this book was put out last year, one of their books, and you can see Zupu, Z-U-P-U, and they throwing up all these glyphs. They don't know anything, but they're using and plagiarizing from the works that Afro Uno put in to put in circulation for it to be understood at a, at a later date and this is what you'll have. You have these people just taking information and creating stuff like they Look at the top of it. Look at the work. Look at the onk. <laughs> Y'all really gonna allow this? And all these so-called back to Africa, Egypt, and Kemet is the greatest of all things? When y'all know that the, the unk do exist? How is that? How can how can they corrupt the sign and then can't prove to you where it come from? This would only make sense if this was in a, in a circle of people who would just didn't care how somebody brought information to them. But if we all saying we're for liberation, mental liberation is what you need first. How can you have a picture of an aunt that don't exist? If somebody can show me this double unk in, in Egypt, please. I can't I can't wait. I've been asking Sarnet ever since he put them on his show. Why y'all don't ask them? Matter of fact, young Pharaoh was the only one that actually asked them because I got the information to somebody that knows him that got his attention on it and he asked him about that. But outside of young Pharaoh, nobody else asked them. I don't understand how can you go over to somebody's circle of so-called Egypt this and Egypt that or, or, or Tamaray this or Tamaray that or whatever name you want to call it and hold and us like 
that's something that I don't know Jabari didn't miss that. Because Jabari, and no disrespect to him, when he teaches, he have a big unk on his on in, in on his arm. And he been in front of Prince York with the double unk. I'm like, why are y'all not asking about this? I don't I don't get that. And they wanna if you understand, and he was correcting Prince York on certain words that he should have been pronouncing, but you ignoring this 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 mutated unk in front of you. I don't understand how you do that. That's like if that was a Christian standing there with a cross on and and, and a Satan worshiper came in there and had the cross on upside down, they would ask them about that. That's right. If a Muslim was standing there and he had his little crescent with the star on the nation of Islam, or whatever, somebody came in there with it a whole nother way, they would ask them about that. He let York get away with it with the with the with the, with the symbol he had with the crescent. Right. And that go all the way back to Madame Blavowski who was into the occult and all kind of things. With the snake around the uh with the and the snake in the moon and, and the, the unk inside the, the, the uh the Ouroboros snake. York was running around with that with a bone in his nose, all kind of stuff. Why did y'all let him do that? <laughs> I don't understand all of these greats they keep talking about. That's why I, you don't see me patting these people on the back. That's why again, no disrespect to Bobby Hammond and, and Phil Valentine them, but why did y'all why did y'all not question that? Just like now, they let polite run like a fool through the through the whole country community, and they ain't do nothing. Red Pill them came out, made a made a dry threat, and got quiet. I don't understand that, but they want to get on here and talk about everybody else. Oh, this happened. This person. This happened in the the Russell. So they got all the knowledge to why all this stuff has happened, metaphysical. But y'all cannot explain to me why y'all letting these people that y'all can touch. Not in, in a negative way, but you could reach out and contact them and sat in front of these people and did not ask the right questions. And got your channels calling it knowledge this and knowledge that. I don't that should be changed to ignorance. Because you're not dealing with the facts here. Did you, you did you find what you was finding or you want to just go ahead and finish with uh them plagiarizing? I got I gotta find that and send it to you. All right. That's that's crucial because they was never talking about Nupu being gold, and they didn't talk about it being those particular glyphs. And I want I need to I need to expose that aspect of it because that's crucial. They they they, they dance around information, and they think that oh it's cool if I switch it up. And this is what York always been talking about. No, y'all y'all switch with the times. And whenever somebody come with the correct information, that's when they want to, oh, yeah, we've been talking about that. We, we, we've been that. This, this is why we wear gold and do, no, y'all didn't know. That's it. Y'all never knew. I'm going to address uh, Noob and Amanupu. This is what we're talking about. People who talk, they don't have no knowledge and they just ignorant. Like, you ignorant on purpose. He's saying Nupu did not have his start in 93. No, we didn't say that. If you read the Bible interpretation all the way up, it tells you that Afro was contacted by Nupu in 1962. And then on the the nine ball books, it's spelled N-U-P-U, which we gonna explain to y'all why they go from N-U-P-U to N-O-O-P-O-O-H. Because if, again, York already denied he didn't write those. And, th and that's in itself, if, if the P and B exchange, but you can flip the Nupu and they go with the Nupu. And that's the sound of MBW with the gold. But a new gonna go into that later on. This is again, York told y'all fools that Nava Nupu, Asa Nupu, and Wu Nupu, the three writers on the front of the nine ball were extraterrestrials. That's not true. Y'all don't, uh, again, uh, your lies are, are, are just so inconsistent. It's nothing consistent that comes from their mouth. Nothing. And when you update something, updating it doesn't negate what came before it. That means that it wasn't true then. You make minor changes. But when you sit and say, oh, well, Dr. York came spiritually or ethically in 1970. Okay, so y'all started in 1970. But I showed y'all what York tried to say 
he brought Wu Nawapo in 1962. That's a lie. Just like your lie and said he was over there in Mecca translating for Malcolm X in 65 when York was in prison. We did the, the video on that. Shout out to Chuck Morgan for that information. It's a video called Why Did York Lie on Malcolm X? Why do y'all, well, how y'all call you? Everybody that's around the Wapians, stop calling yourself conscious because you, you, you unconscious. Nah, you not, you don't hold them accountable. You don't hold them accountable. You ignore things. We pointed it out just like they claim to be fact checkers and we fact checking the fact checkers because y'all ain't fact checkers. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't check York. Y'all don't check the people that's putting this stuff together and throwing it out there. That's what we trying to tell you. So this is a correction. This is what you're supposed to do. All that other stuff like Malachi Disciple talking about linguistics. York didn't teach y'all linguistics. He wasn't, a, he wasn't a linguist. He was a religionist. And he used other people who spoke certain languages and put that in there. York never demonstrated he spoke 19 languages. It's no proof of that. But we're going to move forward. All right. Ken, I'm finna click on the first. Yeah, let's go. Just go ahead, and we we can always go back. Uh, That's what I'm saying. We gonna we gonna come back to that with the Nupu thing, cause we got we got to get at the other other fake in the Wabians from Nupu Dog Oil, then then took something uh as important as the the primary creators of the black race in the original universes, then put a Dog Oil like it's a business. Foolishness. We're gonna address all of that, but I'm finna click on the first part. The, uh, the ancient Egyptian hieroglyph translator so you can go ahead and speak to how you came to this. So I'm clicking on it. It should be getting bigger right now. So go ahead and explain that. It should be coming up in a couple of seconds. All right. So as you guys can see, the, uh, the word for... The word for gold, in which the um, in which the the Greek actually took this word, and they knew that we as people came from that particular sunshine that comes off the sun. So the word new, of course. Now they added the um the the the, the Latin suffix with the i a n nubian, meant that we were uh people of the gold. But what this people of the gold means? It means that we come from the sun or we are or we are products rather of the sun mm -hmm. now no nawapian of course yeah they were saying that we came from the sun because that was basic information in the nature of nature and the non-ball so that was obvious but as far as knowing where the words and the things came from they, they didn't know exactly where it came from mm -hmm. and the quail chick if you look at the uh, if, uh the, the egyptian hi hieroglyph translator the quail chick was a representation of the sun and that particular platform that you see was a representation of the top uh of a circle or a half they're not gonna you're not gonna really see that right here but as you you know do a little bit more research into it you'll see that that quail chick is a is a um that represented the sun and that the gold represented the sunshine that comes off the sun because we understand that sunshine is a um is ether and depending on the kind of sunshine that's being that's being uh projected from out the sun it it it, it tells you what kind of uh atmosphere and what kind of uh environment that we're dealing with and we're going to go into that a little further uh later on but I really, really want to get this um this this particular glyph that they put up that had NUPU and it was totally different from what you see today from the Wabians. Because they just go with the flow as time goes on. And they realize that they can't go no other place but in the nature of nature. So as we can see also the, the MBW as well represents the um the the words nuwabu if you interchange the letter you can also see the ktmt which uh also stands for kemet which uh which is basically the land of the black or the the people that are um that were dark skinned with woolly hair 
this is what we were um we were called in ancient times and also you can see plural goals means nubu which is plural because sunshine is plural in its purpose it gives all plant life its life and it gives all humans and also the planet itself its life so we're just um you know enlightening the fact that Nawapians did not know what this was this was um what this was about so we're just gonna keep moving forward and letting people know that Nawapians don't know exactly what they're talking about and as more and more information come forth you're gonna see they're gonna continuously keep stealing from the nature of nature but they won't be able to explain it only the ones that truly understand the nature of nature will be able to explain it um and those are the people who call themselves nunibu now i don't know if all nunibus know exactly how to explain the nature of nature but i know for a fact myself tarnoon you know Quipu, we are we are definitely engulfed in the nature of nature so when you see explanations being done by us those these we are the people that you're supposed to be looking for as far as information is concerned not to follow our lives not to deify us not to put us on a pedestal as if we're gods because all we're doing is giving information back to our people i'm not looking to be deified i'm not looking to be somebody's god or anything like that i'm my own god within my own brain to myself you understand what i'm saying not to anyone else you have your own brain and your own god which helps you to get forward as far as you know you're looking to move forward in your life and we're not actually full gods we're actually demigods half half god and half um half demon or spirit or angel or whatever the word you want to use but we're half of that um what that is as far as a demigoddess is concerned so I, we're not looking to be deified we're just looking to get the truth out all right so you know if you look into to 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 get into the nature of nature information you can go to both the websites you know finenews.com and also noponoon uh dot com if you want to get more information about that so i just want to put that out there that we are not looking to be deified at all so don't look at us and oh we the new gods and the, no mm -mm, don't do it we're gonna shut that down as 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 fast as possible so that's just basically what happened but what's the next picture in the uh in the in that in that uh tunnel let me see if i could there you go again comes from the nubian noob so let's see what the nature of nature has to say about it, that i highlighted all right it says listen to reason nupu the mental resurrector is the new present and future influence in the nature of nature and noon the science of sound right reason is their philosophy nupu is plural in purpose I mean, plural in power and purpose and includes the male and female principles. All right. Now you see, that's the same thing as what sunshine is representative of. And we have to understand that our hair is kinky and our hair absorbs information. If you ever go into electromagnetism, you'll see that coils absorb electromagnetic energy and we have the strongest form of coils on our head to represent electromagnetism and we will absorb nupu before any other race on the planet will be able to absorb nupu or the energies of it it can't be seen or detected at this time and we are not physical nupu this is something that nuwapians love to say that we are physical non-ether beings that is foolishness nine ether comes with a temperature it comes with a astronomically high temperature so the six ether we're not even living in the six ether zone six ether comes with the astronomical high temperature we cannot survive in that temperature these bodies won't allow us to survive in that high heat and humidity in which six and nine ether once existed we are living in the ghost zone right now and the ghost zone means that everything all the gases that are poisonous to us and three ether ghosts are invisible they they cannot be seen with the naked eye 
now we're gonna do something real special within the next com couple of weeks dealing with ghost ether and how why nawapians have it twisted because we are not nine ether beings at all we are not even six ether beings at this point in time because nine ether is the combination of all existing gases and chemicals six ether is the death of that meaning that it's starting to break apart but it's still together as the sun is a representation of six ether it still has all existing gases and chemicals but it's being split apart as you can see in hydrogen and helium and as you get to planet earth then you see the ghost underworld five ether and lower is existing on this planet only in the center of the planet will you have the um only in the center of the planet will you have six ether which is the that hot molten lava which is in the center of the planet and that's where you have six ether which is a uh, unquenchable fire and five ether is um you're dealing with various gases and things like that but we're gonna we're gonna go into that later on but i'm gonna finish reading this excerpt all right so nupu is plural in power and purpose and includes the male and female principles and this scientist of nature repeats the nature of nature is the god in nature as explained in this book the etymological original and true meaning of the word god is ghost because the word god is short for ghosthood but this is but this advocate for this positive sorry for this positive side of nature uses the word god anyway for explanatory and clarity purposes because there's no other word in the english language that possesses and expresses the special connotation and meaning in ethereal science that the title god does and this writer is using the english language to write this book therefore by the use of the word god in this book the writer is the writer of this volume means the power brain newts reason and spirits and intelligence of law and order equality and justice unless stated otherwise the etymolo the etymological meaning of the word and name nature is being existence and all as explained in these writings let it be remembered always and let it be known so as you can see nupu is basically the energies and the sunshine that comes off the sun and later on we'll give more and more explanation as to why it's spelled the way it's spelled as to why it can't be detected only as far as a mentality is concerned as to why we can't be nine or six ether beings at this point in time and we're gonna we're gonna keep going further and further but what's the next picture here we go again listen to reason nupu cannot exist as spirit beings in the bottom half of the smack circle of order you see that not even spirit beings right now can be those nine ether beings in the smack circle of order because the bottom half of is the domain of zupu but remember in order for any person or thing to naturally come into being he or she or it must be conceived and go through the gestation process and period and be born which means that nupu is just gestating right now it's a mental energy right now meaning that it has to go through the same process as a baby being born so to be a non ether being you got to go through the whole process it has to start mental then it has to go through uh 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 uh, uh it has to go through uh conception gestation and it has to be born and that's none of that is taking place universally universally or cosmically right now this principle holds true for nupu so in the case of nupu nupu's conception in the center brains of the suns is like the birth of nupu to us persons and other beings in the universes because after the brains of the true stars of the universes are impregnated again by brains brain newts with nine ether mentality the brains of the centers of the suns begin to emanate nine ether mind again and that emanation gradually increases in volume and density until all existence reaches point six east counterclockwise where the atmosphere becomes nine ether impurity again what was i just saying the temperature is too cold right now 
for nine ether to even exist where the atmosphere heat is synonymous with nine ether this is what the Wapians are not understanding the planet is too cold the caucasian is walking around they are i don't know if y'all ever watch these um these uh movies where they call them like gay walkers and stuff like that where they um where they have these vampires that walk around in the daytime that's what you're watching right now they're able to walk around in the daytime because the temperature is too cold right now it is way too cold for them to be existing diseases are occurring because it's way too cold what happens when the body is sick the body heats up which allows the um the body to heal itself when the body is hot that means it's in a healing format right now universally the bodies are too cold so this is why caucasian are able to walk around this is why the mentalities of people are sick this is why it's easy for us as human beings to get sick get cancer get all kind of different diseases because it's way too cold you're more susceptible to diseases as far as the mind is concerned as far as phys physical and spiritually so we're dealing with temperature as far as nine mind and nine ether is concerned so i'm gonna finish reading where the atmosphere becomes nine ether in purity again as well as nine ether mentality and thereby image births of nupu occur again image births the image births of nupu are the flesh and blood gods and goddesses of the top half of ex of the smat circle of order during the time that the top half exists the power and science of nupu and noon are are the new order of persons and things let it be remembered always and let it be remembered so so as we can see and what afro unu meant by flesh and blood gods and goddesses and i'm going to give y'all a little secret our ancestors were in fire form meaning that they were the exact images which you see the sun is in the sun is in fire form our ancestors were in fire form the reason why we're the way we are right now is because we're condensed into a solid body understand what i'm saying you we, we are condensed a lot of people keep saying oh we're going to destroy mr uh mr mr uh garu or whatever his name is when he speaks about us coming from hydrocarbons carbon is a is is the is the product of a burnt substance or gas which means that it's actually the waste product of of a of a um, particular element gas or thing like for instance when you burn wood that's carbon um diamonds if you look at diamonds diamonds is the is the is been through a long process of chemicals coming together and breaking down and once it breaks down and gets to that point the diamond is the end product how can it be the end product and represent life it can't be the same the same thing as urine the same thing as feces 70 percent of your feces is carbon so which means that that even your um carbon dioxide when a human breathes in oxygen it gives off carbon dioxide because it's the end product carbon is the end product of life not the beginning process this happens when things are uh, being uh um when things come to the, the the to the ending so this is why you see us human beings as carbon uh based human beings uh the, the the our skin has carbon in it which means that we are the end we are the evolutionary aspect of what our ancestors used to be because we were in fire form our hair is the is is has been cooled down so much that you see it now as a solid um keratin uh factor so now we can we can we can properly address people when they say we come from hydrocarbon that's foolishness there's no way that we can come from hydrocarbons because carbon is the end product of a substance or gas so let's go on to the next picture here we go 
symbol for gold appearance the hieroglyph for gold represents the gold collar and bees on the lower edge as it hangs at the end gold was considered by the ancient egyptians to be divine and indestructible metal it was associated with the brilliance of the sun when do we see brilliance of the sun the brilliance of the sun is the sunshine when you see it shining that's the brilliance you can't even look into the sun because it's so brilliant it's so it's so bright that you can't look into it this is what they were talking about they were talking about the sun shine the sun god ray was called the mountain of gold and the during and during the old kingdom the pharaoh was called the golden horus the skin of the deities was believed to be golden the royal tomb was called the house of gold during the new kingdom and isis and nephthys was often depicted on the ends of the sarcophagi kneeling on the hieroglyph meaning gold which is sunshine all right let's go to the next picture All right, here we go. Ancient Egyptian gold hieroglyph is a member of the crowns, dresses, staves, hieroglyphs. Its major uh, importance is as one of the fivefold to sorry titulary names of the Egyptian pharaoh, the Horus of gold name. The gold hieroglyph is used as a determinative, sorry, determinative in the names of the precious metals and as an ideogram in nbw gold or nbu the hieroglyph is an e egyptian language by literal <clears throat> with the value of nb the hieroglyph is large gold necklace large gold and pearl necklace old kingdom scenes shown dwarfs metalworking the gold and the stringing of pearls of gold let's go to the next picture There we okay so we done ran through all the pictures so there we go we we are in a in a in a death state right now our our skin skin is made of of um of carbon which means that we are the ending product of what we were um what we were prior so that's uh, my explanation as far as that's concerned. I got to go back to looking for this uh, particular um, Nupu thing. So I don't know if you want to say anything about that, Tanu. But I'm, I'm finished speaking about that. You there, Tanu? Oh, you there? I think your thing is still on mute. Oh, okay. My bad. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so you want to go to the next topic? Yeah, you can go to the next topic until I find this uh this particular um. <clears throat> All right. Let me see if we can go back to that video. Um. So we just want y'all to understand, basically, that that book that um. Uh, Prince Joe was reading from with that debate with Jabari, that section, they they actually took that from um a newt's research, which is based on um the nature of nature and Nupu being the mentality of, of male and female energies. We we spoke about this on another video that we did on the noon uh Ken's live show Repu Day, where we read from the nature books to explain that Nupu are brain nukes and they are pure intelligence and that is what all africans on the planet earth and abroad in the universe have access to and that is what's bringing back the true uh intelligence and reason and that's what we use when we're reading and searching for information that's why the nature books tell you to use sound right reason that means you have to mentally work with them to help you find the answers to the problems and that's what people, that's what Nawapians don't get. They running around behind a man that's in jail forever. That's what we call, that's Zupu. That's descending reasoning. The books say use sound right reason, not use another person 
who they think is sound right reason itself because that's that's pure foolishness and that's against all of the information the book tells you follow sound right reason it doesn't say follow other people to the extent that that's who you waiting on to put some information out when the person in jail is waiting on y'all to send him the information so he can put his name on it and then they put it out and attribute to him that's the ignorance of a cult they have no true understanding of what mentality is and this is why we have to stay on them because they're actually getting in the way of the real information that was sent all of the pre the Wapians and, and Ansars and all them people, that information that York was getting in the way of is this. This is the true information that y'all supposed to have unadulterated and don't have to uh, worry about being up under these six uh, savior mentality uh, psychopaths because the information is there. The information is there for you to, to utilize to get yourself together. That's why the nature book says standing on your own whether it's right or wrong. But your mentality connection is, is is inside your own mind so you know Nubin is speaking about we don't supposed to be talking and, and putting it out there it, it's, it's, it's self explanatory it's confused because the information says propagate the information pr promote promulgate it you have to push it put put it out there and we're not just putting the information out there we're actually using what's called inspiration and revelation when we get in-depth information on what's already been written that's what the information is for the mentality then helps us go into the present society we live in and to be able to translate and say okay when um when afro Uno wrote this today this will be called this but sound right reason helps us with that so we want to be clear so y'all stop y'all so savior minded corrupted that every time somebody comes out as a with liberation information and liberation tendencies to be able to access the same powers that you got access to you start trying to mold people into saviors and then put them up against the pedophile york was not a, a liberator he's a savior if you newbin is is a so-called nunibu or any other nunibus who so-called transitioning from the Wapu to, to Noon, the books are very clear on what a savior is. And it tells you that the savior, the time for that has passed since February 5th, 1962. So your is nowhere near the author of books that was against the very position that he claimed he was in. Who writes books against they self? How can you say he wrote the books when York is promoting homosexuality in various forms. The nature of nature is against that. Again, who writes books against themselves? The Wapians need to get a hold of the books and just go into book two and just read the laws in the back and then look at the stuff that York was doing. And then you tell me, how could he write this and he still was doing it? But we're going to move on to the next part of the uh, some of the video 